Hey, what's up, people? Duncan here, running into Oregon's next governor. Let me tell you something about this flag in the back of me. Do you know why we represent that flag, why we love that flag, and why we stand for that flag? Do you know why we cherish and call that flag old glory? Let me tell you a story about why. You see, when this nation was becoming a nation and winning and earning its independence, when this nation was on the verge of its final battle, there was a slave ship, and on the slave ship was Francis Scott. Francis Scott was the author of The Star Spangled Banner. Now, he's on a ship filled with slaves. The enemy commander orders the final barrage attack upon an American stronghold continues the assault all night long and then he tells Francis Scott that the minute that flag drops they're gonna run this to the shore they're gonna run ashore and they're gonna start imprisoning and slaughtering everybody there in that fort just to make a final message so that ship starts shooting bombs boom 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 all night long the enemies can't decide can't figure out why that flag is still there why they can't drop that flag so morning comes the redcoats are unable to come ashore they're unable to take advantage of because at no point did that flag hit the ground so the next day the ship docks the enemies come ashore the war's over we're wondering how was it that that flag stood all night long, battle after battle, bomb after bomb, rocket after rocket. And what they realized is every time that flag was hit and was on the verge of falling, an American patriot ran over, jumped on it, grabbed it, and held it up and gave their life to keep that flag standing. Upon there was a pile of bodies of men who gave their lives to make sure that flag still stood. That's the inspiration behind Old Glory. That's the inspiration behind the Star Spangled Banner, our national anthem, and every other thing we can think of as Americans. That's why we represent that flag. That's why we stand for that flag. That's why we will never kneel on that flag. Now see, the funny thing is, when I think of kneeling, what I think about is a submission. When I think about kneeling, all I can think about is two things. Faith or submission. You kneel at church or you kneel in front of somebody that has more power than you. Somebody that you're submitted to. Somebody, well, or an idea. Let me tell you the idea of kneeling on this flag and what's wrong with the false narrative. The idea is this, if we are bound by the false narrative that this flag is lathered in slavery and racism and that this false narrative continues, just mind you that there is still slavery that happens today that only in America can a person come here as a slave, earn their independence, have children and generations after generations <coughs> of free Americans. Only in America is that possible. We abolished slavery a long time ago and this country has prospered because of it. When we're looking at what's going on in this world today, keep in mind that the people looking to destroy it right now are the ones trying to convince you that that flag is broken, that the idea behind it is old fashioned and that it needs to be changed. The truth is, is that right now as I speak, we need to cherish that flag and the ideas and the fundamentals behind it even more than ever. We need to teach it to our kids so that they can teach it to their kids. And we need to ensure that this nation and our fundamental cores continue to survive generation after generation. It's imperative that we teach them right from wrong, we teach them history so that they're not doomed to repeat it, 
it's imperative that they learn what not to do because we've been there and been down that wrong road before this nation should be proud the citizens of this nation should be proud we've gone to other nations we've liberated other nations we've done wonderful things throughout this world and throughout the time that we've been here the time is now for us as Americans to take care of America but the time is now for us to take care and secure our rights to secure our borders and to secure our prosperity as a country I am running as Oregon's next governor and the idea is that Oregon has been a social liberal stronghold for far too long the idea that it has been under a corrupt governor like Kate Brown for far too long the idea that we need an Oregonian to run this the state we need a governor in power who's strong strong-minded and willing to do the dirty work in order to get the job done we need a governor who will support the Constitution and the constitutional rights of each and every American citizen we need to put we need a governor who will put the rights of those citizens first we need a governor who will end the corruption break down the walls of sanctuary unite the 29 counties that aren't in Portland and then step into Portland and get some support from there we need a governor who can offer a lot to everyone we need a governor that focuses on real solutions to the real problems instead of everyday popularity politics racial based politics and gender based politics don't get caught up in the BS don't get caught up in the on the lies and the false narratives instead stand up for that flag pledge allegiance to that flag we cannot stop the generations from having an allegiance to that flag we must teach our youth to continue pledging allegiance to that flag for that flag is important to this nation get out there get involved that's what I keep telling people you have an opportunity to do great things here you have an opportunity to be part of something special right here in Oregon and if you don't live in Oregon you can still help you can still pump my message share this to every group share this to all your Trump groups your MAGA groups your Patriot groups every group you can think of that's pro-America pro-constitution pro-guns and pro-life share this and let them know that I'm out Mark Duncan, I'm running to redeem Oregon. I'm running as Oregon's next governor, and I need your help. If you live in Oregon, get out there and get involved. Push my message. Share me to all the Oregon groups. Get people to know who's, who I am, where I'm coming from, and what I'm about to do for this state. You can find me at Redeem Oregon, my page on Facebook. You can go to you, Google+. Plus. You can find me on YouTube, on Mark Duncan. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Gab. You can find me on, on, I'm on. I'm on all of them. I'm on Instagram. I'm on everything. Just look up Redeem Oregon or Mark Duncan and you'll see me. So God bless. Find me, subscribe me, follow me, and vote for me as Oregon's next governor. Thank you. Duncan out.